What is up, my fellow Super Trashies? It is Super Trash 39 here with a Fire Arrow Cannon. That is right, a Fire Arrow Cannon. Basically, if you guys ever poked around on YouTube for maybe some Redstone tutorials, Minecraft mini games, you might have run across a guy whose name is and Venom. He's really popular within the Minecraft community. Really cool dude. Builds a lot of cool stuff. Really knowledgeable with um, Redstone. And um, he inspired me to build this. I saw his video of his version of this fire arrow cannon. And there's a pig on my bed over there. What, what are you doing? But basically, if you want to check out this video, the link is in the description. So you guys can see where I was inspired from him to try to do this. Basically, I took the his Redstone from that video. And I condensed it to the best of my ability and how much I was able to do it. And then I changed the actual cannon design. And then I added on to the actual redstone, making this cannon pretty much automated. Uh, at some point, you do actually have to reload it. And it can shoot up to eight times, I think. It's either eight or nine times. I, I don't remember off the top of my head for some reason. But basically, it, it's really cool. It's really cool. And let's get into talking about this nice little cannon. Wait, first off... If you guys come in here and you are not on creative, which I don't know why you'd want to not be on creative, I have these chests over here with arrows and TNT as well as sand and a bed for you guys. And if you guys download download this map, um, when you first come in here, this cannon is good. It is set to go. So you guys can just press the fire button for the first time. You do not have to worry about this reset button until you fire it for the first time. After you fire it for the first time, you have to hit this reset button. So basically, let's say that we hit this res or the fire button. What happens here is this redstone line, it lights up and then it comes over here to this memory cell. This redstone torch deactivates, tripping this on, and this will go for 20 seconds, which will shoot these arrows out. So now let's do a little bit ma a little bit of math real quick. Basically, you guys can look in here, you see that there's nine stacks of 64 arrows. Basically, in 20 seconds, since this thing's going to be running for 20 seconds, it will shoot out... 102 arrows each dispenser will shoot out 102 arrows so since we have four of them we will be shooting out 408 arrows so we are going to be launching 408 arrows through this lava lighting them on fire well most of them not all of them light for some reason and going all the way out there which we'll get to what those redstone things are out there in a little bit but now we get into the little meat and potatoes here basically since this gets deactivated tripping that this gets activated and goes over here and make sure that stays deactivated deactivated for a little bit and um this thing right here gets deactivated redstone comes down through here lights this torch it sends a pulse through here which goes for 20 seconds and then the line splits right here and this blue area or this blue wool basically runs over here and this trips this line making the redstone forcing it through this again and shutting it off as it is now so it's at a um, stagnant state and then what happens real what happens over here is um this redstone comes down through here and it goes and lights this and then it splits off this lights the tnt over here this runs over here to these pistons the pistons shove the tnt forward into this lit redstone line lighting the tnt the sand drops and then you know makes it so it can be pushed again and then the line continues over here and goes through this nice little slow down thing and goes over here to the switch now this is where the reset button comes into play right now the pistons are activated which is what you want when you want to start this thing because what happens is when these pistons deactivate they you know retract back in here and the arrows drop and then the TNT lights as the arrows are dropping so it's really you really have to time this thing out so what happens is this redstone line comes in here it deactivates this switch and this redstone line gets eliminated and these pistons retract the arrows drop TNT goes and it shoots the arrows out and then the reset button what that does is it goes runs out underneath here and then when you hit it after you're done shooting it resets it and puts the block back to right here so the pistons are back here in this activated state so without further ado let's uh, test this baby out so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna shut it off tonight just so you guys get a nice little concept and we are set to oh darn it what am i doing what am i doing i messed it up all right let's throw this button back on here let's try this again perfect all right see as you guys can see it goes here it's lighting this that's running through these arrows are getting pushed over there i'm gonna stay away from it because it's really noisy and see how fast those things are coming out now this thing's still going through still going through it's taking its time 20 seconds that shuts off just like that. TNT is lit and the pistons will retract like that, shooting those arrows all the way out here. 
Now see, this is the closest point, and as we go farther out, check this out. Look how far they actually go, and it is crazy. That one was a fairly all right shot. Basically, these lines right here are as, as far as I've gotten it to shoot, and it's it varies on the shot. It's not always consistent, but nonetheless, it shoots them way the hell out here. So, yeah, basically, that's pretty much it. And some of those arrows glitch, as you guys can see right there. And, yeah. I'm going to stand on the other side of the cannon. I want to shoot this because I want to see what it's like to have 408 arrows flying at you. So I will be right back in just a couple of seconds. All right. So I have activated the thing. I'm standing about middle ground, as you guys can see. It's running through right now. So it should be pretty much ready to go right about now. Yep. We see the sand dropping over there. So that means the TNT is lit and shooting. Oh, my God. That's creepy as hell. Good thing I was in the middle so I didn't get shot. But literally, like, these arrows are still <laughs> going it is crazy. I really like this thing. It's really fun to play with. And uh, actually, before, what I did was up there at the closest redstone lines. Well, it wasn't line. Those um, little redstone th torches that are right here. I built a little pig pen, basically, in this nice little death area. And um, I made it really tightly compact and put a whole bunch of pigs in there and shot them and killed them and cooked the meat at the same time. So it was really cool. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with that design. And, um, you know, I hope you guys like it. Supercharged 39 is out.